So today, I'm gonna take these old vintage beds that we got in the antique store and bring them back to life. We can't wait to see all the beautiful natural wood that's hidden underneath all this green paint. So are you guys ready? Yeah. You guys ready to tackle your bed? Yes. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> These beds were originally called spool turn beds, but they are most famous for the Jenny Lind bed. Jenny Lind was a famous opera singer around the 1850s. She was also known as the Swedish Nightingale. When she came on tour to America, she favored the spool turn beds, and people started referring to them as Jenny Lind beds. And so they remained associated with her ever since. We just hauled all the beds outside they're laying on tarp and plastic so that setup we've heard a lot of good things about this it has no harsh fumes this is a spray and a lot of people use the liquid goop stuff so we're going to give this a try and we got latex gloves it's not a putty knife it's more of a scraper knife so we also have mineral spirits and this is going to take off all the goop from this yeah. stuff. The steel wool is going to help get the paint off. And we have this drill with a brush. We forgot one more tool. What's the other tool? It's a hair clip. All you right. need to put your hair back. It takes several days, so I don't know. I hope that we can get it done at the end of this video because it's gonna be a long process. And Liddy, hopefully she's not walking on our project as we're working on it first spray and it's an orangish color. We'll come back in 30 minutes and see if the paint has bubbled up. We are ready to see how the wood looks. Look how much it's just peeling off. Yeah. girls are going to use the steel wool um, with the mineral spirits and hopefully take a lot of that off. A little bit left, but then you have the stain that we have to break through. So we sprayed it, which we're letting it sit um, for about 50 minutes. Anyways, this is quite a messy job. Pressure washer yeah. and get the rest of it off, clean it up. A light spray, because we don't want to rip the wood. Oh, I got all these things all over me. <laughs> oh, my white shirt. We lost them. Oh seat. my word, no. Oh. All right. oh, it's all over the lens. I know, it's all over the camera. Let's go clean it up. So the water pressure worked really well. We got yeah. a lot of it off. So now we're gonna lay plastic and get ready for the nether.
steam came off. A little bit, a bit, but. We have gone through a few beds with the girls in the last couple years. So the really nice thing about these vintage beds is that they have proven to last a long time. And I also love the idea that there's a farmhouse style bed. All right, so this is how much we have gotten off so far. We're gonna power wash as much off as possible. And then we'll add another coat and see if we can get the rest off on the last coat. And then we flip it over to the other side. This is the back side that we have not sprayed. We're gonna spray this and then let it sit. See how the shadow right here is coming in? The day is getting later, but yep. we want to get as much of this done today so we don't do too much tomorrow. The girls are taking a little break. I think they've um, given up on this. It's a lot of work. Nice. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Oh kind of give up a little bit. That stuff is like weird goop too. Yeah. It just turns into something really weird. Oh, look at all that. Uh, oh yeah, stain. the stain's coming off too, so that's good. We want the stain coming off. Ew. We still have those ones to do. I know, we still have the headboards to do. Wow, Sophia just took that off. Stain and paint came off with that one. I can see it on the board too. The darker is the stain and the lighter. Yeah, we'll see what it looks it like off. and see if we need to paint it or leave it as wood. What do you think? Should we paint it? No. Should we leave it natural wood or paint yeah. it? Yeah. I don't want to paint it. Really? That's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> After this, we're like, we're not going to yeah. paint it. It's a lot lighter than I was thinking because when I was spraying it with water, it was still super dark but it turned out to be like really light. Getting kind of excited. I think we're gonna sand these down tomorrow. Hopefully we can get all the paint off today. Because of the detail in the spools, it's kind of hard to get paint off of those, but I think we did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna take the power washer and try to take as much paint off of that. These look a lot darker because they're soaking wet. I think they're gonna lighten up. This one's lightening up a lot more. The thing is we weren't able to get everything off. You see like this white residue stuff, that's part of the stain. So we have to do probably one more very small thin coat to finish these. And then we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. All right, we are on day two for this two. project and we still have a lot to do. Here is what we have so far. This is already dry. on day three of this massively long project uh, because we have a deadline. We're trying to get it done as soon as possible. Um, we're gonna be sanding. We have a big sander. We have a smaller one. I also took one of the flat sanding sheets, cut out a couple strips for like um, getting the smaller places. Like if there's like a small crack and that thing can't get into it, you just start sawing it in like a yeah. sawing motion. <laughs> she came in here. Well, actually, that one's so cute. Okay, 
Can you help us stand? You want that one? All right, no. Sophia, which one do you want? No. Here, I don't think you're gonna be helping us, Dude. are you? Are you gonna be yes, helping? Like, don't tell me, no! <laughs> Why? 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 Are finished with the two beds this project was massive and it took three days which I think if we weren't on such a time crunch it would have taken a little longer than a week there's a lot to do the girls did a really good job keeping up with it because yeah it was just a lot um, anyways we are excited to show you the final result we're gonna take you to the room and reveal the beds whole story behind the beds just make the beds even more meaningful and kind of exciting. Also, if you're thinking about doing a project like this, stripping paint or varnish off of wood, let me tell you, it is exhausting, it's a lot of work, but if you stick with it and be patient, the end result is amazing. We'd love to hear what you guys think about the Jenny Lind beds and if you guys know any more history about these. All right, Micah, what do you have to say? Put that like button for my scissors. See you next week. <laughs> See you next week.